Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Let's talk about the canonicity of the book of James. Some of you may know that uh, uh, Brother Mitch and I have been making a lot of videos about the book of James. And we are making the case that James uh, does not uh, agree with Paul, John, Peter, and Jesus about salvation. We're making the case that the book of James is teaching lordship salvation. And there are many, many people who are working really hard arguing that James does not disagree with Paul, but that it can all be explained away if you just study it enough. In fact, Brother Mitch and I both used to be on that side of the argument years ago. Uh, I could probably defend the book of James from that perspective as well as anybody else. I know all of the arguments to explain away all the problem verses. But I believe those arguments are weak and full of holes now. And I believe the correct understanding for the book of James is that it uh, is best understood as a historical book that uh, tells us the state of the church at the very beginning. Uh, when the first believers were Jews and uh, they, they had no idea, one, that uh, Jesus came also to save the, uh, the Gentiles. They thought this was strictly for Jews. And they also had no idea that uh, Judaism would be d discarded, that uh, they thought that they would continue practicing Judaism and believe in Jesus. Uh, so they thought that uh, it was a uh, religious work of Judaism and, and believing in Jesus, which is faith and works, which is Lordship salvation. And that is what is explained in the book of James. That is the beginning of the church, and James is the very first book that was written in the New Testament. If you understand when James was written, then you can put it in the historical context and understand that the, the church started off one way and had to evolve. It was, it's called, the book of Acts is called a transitional book. It shows the transition of the church uh, that in the beginning it was just for Jews and they had Judaism and then it had to be corrected by Paul so that they could discard Judaism and make it entirely faith in Jesus. So the book of Acts is a transitional book and James uh, is the beginning that uh, doctrine that needed to be uh, transformed and, and uh, changed and corrected by Paul. So Brother Mitch and I are not arguing that the book of James should not be in the canon. Uh, we're simply arguing that uh, uh, we need to understand it from a historical uh, context uh, and not think that it is uh, for us to uh, learn about our uh, salvation and, and uh, our, our uh, sanctification. Or It doesn't agree with Paul. It doesn't agree with the message of salvation by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. So uh, I, I've been struggling to try to make the case and also um, um, make the case that uh, we're not saying James should not be in the Bible. We're not saying that James is not part of the canon. We're saying that you need to understand it in the right context. Now, uh, there's a brother out there that made a comment on one of my videos recently. Uh, his username is Sebastian Dresden. And you've probably noticed that in this video I'm kind of like stumbling trying to explain this. Uh, but I b believe Sebastian Dresden, in his comment on my video, explained it far better than I am able to explain it. So I want to read his comment and maybe if you'll li listen carefully to what he says, you'll get it. You'll understand the point we're trying to make about the book of James, and we are not challenging the canonicity or inerrancy of Scripture. Okay, so here is what Sebastian Dresden said on one of my videos on James. 
It seems difficult to examine scripture with an open mind and pure thought without offending the religious traditions of the church. This in mind is not a question of canonicity, rather a question of hermeneutics. The Sadducees believed in a non-corporal resurrection, a matter of historical relevance taught within scripture, not taught for our acceptance, rather for our understanding of what they wrongly believed. They were contradicted by Christ himself, yet the facts are canonized within scripture. He also says, James, the writer of the book of James, is corrected by both Peter and Paul. Historical facts to edify and teach us about the early church. Hardly a position that should elicit claims of apostasy. Then he closes, good luck dodging stones, Brother Luke. Uh, well, <laughs> Brother Sebastian Dresden. Uh, yeah, there, there are... There are a lot of stones, and uh, I'm, I'm good at dodging them, but I want to thank you uh, for stating it uh, so perfectly. And that is that um, these things should be taken as uh, uh, a matter of historical relevance taught within Scripture, not taught for our acceptance. So in other words, James, we should not read James and accept it as this is uh, we're going to learn and from James we're going to uh, accept the teachings of James but instead rather for our understanding of what they wrongly believed and yet uh, it's still considered scripture just as when the Sadducees were arguing for non-physical resurrection even though they were wrong it's still considered scripture so well said, Brother Sebastian Dresden. I'm going to put a copy of this in the description section of this video uh, so everybody can read this. And, and I hope that through your, your perfect uh, explanation of this situation here, that people will finally get what the point we're trying to make. Uh, bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.